It's 10 trivia questions on grunge songs from the 90s for Patreon subscriber Donald Fuller. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for leaving iTunes reviews. And thanks for getting personalized episodes of the podcast for your loved ones for holiday gifts. That's very kind of you. All that money going in a big pile to buy a book vending machine for my daughter's school in early 2023. It's $6,700. So we are about a fifth of the way there fundraising and all of your money is helping. So thank you so much for those generous donations on Venmo and PayPal for the book vending machine. We are doing an episode today on grunge songs and I will give you the year the song came out and the name of the song, You Tell Me the Artist. This was picked by Patreon subscriber, Donald Fuller. So thank you, Donald, for the idea. Before we get to that, we have some warm-up questions for you. How about this one? What entertainers, devout fan club members, refer to themselves as Waniacs? The answer is Wayne Newton. Just watched him in Vegas Vacation the other day. Wayne Newton. Your next one, what singer known as the anti-Britney shocked fans at a 2004 Halloween show by coming out for an encore dressed as a Hooters waitress? It was Avril Lavigne, Canada's own Avril Lavigne. And the last question here from movies, what womanizing title role have both Michael Caine and Jude Law played on the big screen? The answer is Alfie, the movie Alfie. And there you go. We're all warmed up. We're ready to go. And we're jumping into grunge song trivia. Here we go. Grunge songs. I'll give you the year and the title. You tell me the artist. Number one, 1992, Rooster. 1992, Rooster. Number two, 1994, Vaseline. Number two, 1994, Vaseline. Number three, 1994, Super Unknown. 1994, Super Unknown. Number four, 1994, Better Man. 1994, Better Man. Number five, 1992, In Bloom. 1992, In Bloom. Number six, 1994, Machine Head. 1994, Machine Head. Number seven, 1998, Malibu. 1998, Malibu. Number eight, 1993, Cherub Rock. 1993, Cherub Rock. Number nine, 1994, Feel the Pain. 1994, Feel the Pain. Number 10, 1996, Touch Me, I'm Sick. 1996, Touch Me, I'm Sick. Your last grunge song here, number 11 for two points. The bonus question, 1991, Hunger Strike. 1991, Hunger Strike. Those are all of your questions for grunge songs. You had to guess the artist from the year and the song title. We'll be back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to grunge songs. So many of these from 1994. What a year for that type of music. But here's number one, 1992, Rooster, Alice in Chains. Rooster, Alice in Chains. My favorite use of this song was at the end of season two of The Punisher. If you saw it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Number two, 1994, Vaseline, Stone Temple Pilots, STP. Number three, 1994, Super Unknown, Soundgarden. Super Unknown was by Soundgarden. Number four, 1994, Better Man, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Number five, 1992, In Bloom, Nirvana. Nirvana. Number six, 1994, Machine Head, Bush. Bush. I just uh, listened to a new Bush album from 2022. It was actually 
pretty dang good. If you would have told me it came out in 94, I would have believed you. It sounds just like it. Number seven, 1998, Malibu, Hole, the band Hole with Courtney Love. Number eight, 1993, Cherub Rock, Smashing Pumpkins from Chicago. Number nine, 1994, Feel the Pain, Dinosaur Jr., Dinosaur Jr. Number 10, 1996, Touch Me, I'm Sick, Mud Honey, Mud Honey. And the bonus for two points, 1991, Hunger Strike, Temple of the Dog. There you go. Donald Fuller, I hope you got a perfect 11 out of 11 on that quiz and everybody else who loves grunge as well. Your fact of the day to close out this episode, Google has to reinforce their undersea cables to protect them from shark bites. That sounds like some sort of scene in a Sharknado movie I would like to see. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. (music) 